The city is really cool. I feel like the city is super like compact and dense. So it's very small, but there's so much going on in there. There's like old castles, which is pretty neat. So like ancient medieval stuff alongside then like more modern things like shopping malls and different kinds of restaurants. And there's a covered market that was really cool. Lots of different like pubs and <laughs> nightclubs and whatnot. This is a vibrant nightlife. And it's really kind of like a cool place like that, that they've packed kind of the big city feel into such a small area. University isn't like your typical university. It doesn't have like a centralized campus or anything like that. It's a bunch of these colleges that are spread out throughout the city, really. So Regents Park College is one of the more the smaller ones. And so you go into the walls of like your college and the door would open, the like outside noises would completely be drowned out by the walls and you'd enter a nice green square quad where people would play like croquet. It does get a lot of visiting students, so you will meet a lot of people from other schools who came to visit. In fact, you'll actually meet a lot of Americans from different universities across the country. I think Regents Park plays an important role for students. It gives them an academic home. They have lunches at Regents Park. Some of their tutors are located at Regents Park. So it gives them another sort of home in addition to where they're living and really have that complete undergraduate experience that other Oxford undergraduates are having.